A fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver. The Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. Hey, Silver. Hey! Everybody in town liked Ruth and Jerry Hart. They were orphans. Jerry was 17, bright, alert, and cheerful. Ruth was only 20, but she cared for the boy as if she were his mother. Today, she could hardly wait for him to come home. Is that you, Jerry? That's right, sis. Dinner ready? Almost. Come here a minute. I have some news for you. Good news. Coming. Well, what's up? You sound excited. Oh, I am. Jerry, Mr. Barnett the Saddler was here to see you this afternoon. He wants you to work for him to become his apprentice. Oh, isn't it wonderful? I don't know. Pretty hard work and there isn't much money in it. I think I'll wait a while. Jerry, I don't understand you. You know that the money Dad left us is almost all gone. In another couple of months, there won't be anything left. What'll we do then? Oh, now quit worrying, will you, sis? I told you I'd get money. But how? Tim says if I stick with him, I'll have plenty of money. And without working hard, either. And you believe him? Well, of course I do. Jerry, can't you see that Tim Jennings is nothing but a bully? A, a ruffian who does all the dirty work for the man who owns the Silver Dollar Cafe? That's no way to earn a living. I don't want you to be like Tim Jennings. He's no good. That's no way to talk about Tim. He's my friend. What if he does have to get tough once in a while? Just proves he's a real he-man, doesn't it? You still haven't told me how you're going to earn the money. You'll see. Jerry, I don't like this. Is it something you're ashamed to tell me? Oh, gee whiz, a fella can't have any privacy, even in his own house. I'm going down to the cafe and eat with him. Jerry! I tell you, Jerry, this is the life. Spend your days doing anything you please. Stay as late as you want, do what you want during the day. Spend your evenings here where there's something always happening. Look around you. Music, games, lots of people. That's the stuff to keep the blood going at its proper speed. You're a pretty big man around here, aren't you, Tim? <laughs> if I do say so, there's only one bigger. That's the boss himself. Hey, Tim, somebody's asking for you. Who is it? He didn't say. Waiting for you in the back room. Yeah, sit right there, Jerry. I'll be right back. Oh, sure. Take your time, Tim. Yeah. 
Harris, what are you doing here? How many times have I told you to keep away from the cafe? Oh, calm down, Tim. Nobody saw me come in. What do you want? Now, Mike and me have been doing a heap of worrying about that kid you're bringing in on the stage job tomorrow. We don't like it. What's there to worry about? I said he was all right, didn't I? Why are you bringing the kid in on the deal? I'll tell you, Harris. This kid has got a mighty pretty sister who's going to be Mrs. Tim Jennings someday. Well, she don't feel that way right now, but I figure a little persuading will make her change her tune. And tomorrow's job will give me just what I want in persuading material. So that's the way it is. That's the way it is. When she finds out that her kid brother robbed the stage and I'm the only one who knows about it, Wedding bells ought to be ringing out right soon. <laughs> you mean to say you'd want her knowing that's the only reason she's marrying you? Yep. And Mike won't like it. Mike don't have to like it. Mike just follows my orders. And that goes for you, too, see? Well, sure, Tim. I don't get sore. Now get out before someone comes back here and sees you. Use that side door. See you in the morning, Tim. <laughs> Worrying like a pair of old women. Enjoying yourself, kid? Oh, yeah. I like it here. Golly, it sure is a great life. Hey, you wait a minute. Hey, Tim, look, something going on. Yeah, so I see. That man's mighty sore. Thinks he's been robbed. This is where I got to step in. Sit still, kid. Oh, sure. You can't put nothing over me. I've watching that wheel is fixed. Now, wait just a minute. I'll take care of this. All right, get out of my way. Let me through there. Hold it now. Hold it, I said. Now, what's your beef, mister? I'll tell you that wheel's fixed. I want my money back. The only way to get your money back is to win it back. <laughs> on a crooked wheel? You either play or get out, and you better get out. Go on now. Get moving toward that door in front. Oh, are you Stephen? No good pole catch on over. I'll show you. I warned you. Good work, Tim. All right, boys. Drag this carcass out of here and dump it out and back. Come on. Now. Anybody else got any foolish notions about the kind of games we run in here? If you have, just speak up. <laughs> That's what I figured. Just remember, I got an answer for any complaint you want to make. And it's right here on my hip. Now get out of my way. Get your head, Jerry. It's getting late. You better get home. I'll ride along with you. Pretty quiet, Jerry. Something eating you? Why'd you have to kill him, Tim? He didn't even draw on you. Listen, kid, there's lots of things you're going to have to learn. Things that you can't get out of books. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. <laughs> Take my advice, Jerry. Forget the whole thing. The hombre who's right is the one who's still standing after the shooting's over. You all ready for tomorrow? Sure. You pack some grub and bring your rifle, just like it was a regular hunting trip. Can't tell who might be watching. You still haven't told me the whole setup for tomorrow. I'll tell you about it when we're riding tomorrow morning. Be plenty of time then. Hey, isn't that your sister standing there on the porch? Oh, yeah. Jerry, is that you? Yeah, it's me, sis. Who? Oh, who? Oh, 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 oh. He's a, uh... Good evening, Miss Ruth. Oh, good evening, Mr. Jennings. Jerry, where have you been? Haven't you... Have you had anything to eat? You don't know how worried I've been. Now, look, sis, I told you I was going to eat in the cafe. Oh, I'm mighty sorry you were worried, Miss Ruth. Forget it, Tim. Ruth always treats me like a two-year-old. Jerry, I think you'd better put up your horse and get to bed. It isn't that late. Oh, your sister's right, Jerry. Since we're going hunting tomorrow, you better get a full night's sleep. You better do as your sister says. Well, all right. Good night, Tim. Good night, Jerry. Good night, sis. Good night. I'll put the horse up and go in the back way. Mr. Jennings, I want to speak to you. Well, that's just fine, Miss Ruth. I'd like nothing better than to sit here on the porch for a few minutes. That won't be necessary, Mr. Jennings. What I have to say won't take long. I want you to keep away from my brother. He's young and impressionable, and I think you're a bad example for now, him. Now, Miss Ruth, you got me all wrong. I like Jerry. He's a mighty fine lad. But, uh... It isn't Jerry I come here to see. It's you. 
You know that. Mr. Jennings, I want you to stay away from both of us. I don't see how I can make it any plainer. Well, <laughs> I don't discourage easy, Miss Ruth. I'm going to keep coming around and frequent. Maybe someday I'll be moving in here. I'm a big man in this town. You could do a lot worse than marrying me. Mr. Jennings, Matter of I... fact, this might be a good time to seal the bargain, <laughs> as they say, with a kiss. You let go of me. Let go. I'll call for help. <laughs> Those two men riding by, don't you worry. Nobody in this town interferes with Tim Jennings. You might as well give in now, because I'm going to get that kiss. Help. Help me. <laughs> What's going on here? On your way, partner. It is a private matter. Oh, no, it isn't. Make him go away. Well, you heard the lady, mister. Do what she said. Why, you... I wouldn't reach for that gun if I were you. That's better. I'll come down off that porch. Now, listen. Hey, what's the idea of the mask? Is this a hold-up? It's no hold-up. Did this man hurt you, miss? Oh, make him go away, please. You heard the lady, mister. Ride. I'll go see him. You got that drop on me. But I'll get square. You can bank on that. Steady, Get up there. Otto, follow him to make sure he doesn't double back. Ah, he's happy. Get him up, Scout. Are you all right, miss? I, I'm so angry I could chew nails. But I'm all right, thank you. You saved me from an embarrassing situation. It's fortunate that we happened by. Are, are you a, an outlaw? <laughs> no. Then why do you wear that mask? That's a long story. Will you be all right here? Oh, yes. I'm not alone. My younger brother is home. Do you think you could forget my mask and tell me about the man who just left here? Yes. Somehow I feel that I can trust you. Tim Jennings is a no good. Yet for some strange reason, my younger brother Jerry is attracted to him. Jerry has turned down several jobs because he claims that Jennings will put him in the way of easy money. You're worried about your brother. I don't know what he'll be getting into. I don't like easy money. I talked to Jerry, but he won't listen to me. I see. He spends so much time with Jennings. Tomorrow, for example, he's going hunting with him. Hunting, huh? Uh-oh. My name is Ruth Hart. Won't you tell me who you are? Well, here comes Toto. Oh, Scott, hold for that. Hold for that. <laughs> Everything all right, Toto? Me follow big man to Cape. Him go inside. Then I don't think you'll have anything more to worry about from Jennings tonight, Miss Ruth. Oh, me not sure, Kimasabi. Him looks plenty angry. Hmm. He might be planning some trick at that. He knew you were watching him. He wouldn't come out the front way. He might have gone out the back door. There is a rear door. It opens on a road which runs back off all the houses on this side of town. Do you think Jennings might cause trouble? Just to play safe, you better go inside. Now, Kimasabi. Yes, Tonto? Me go to back road. Make sure big man not make ambush. <laughs> Drop down quickly. Are you hurt? No, just frightened. Get into the house and lock your door. You'd better come inside with me. No, we'll take care of Jennings. You go on in. Hurry before he fires again. All right. can't see us here. It's too dark. I'm going to try to draw him away from the house. I don't make a move until I do. Me, Sally. Afraid to move, masked men? Or just sneak into the house behind the girl's skirt? Him over there. Somewhere behind the fence. I know. But we don't know exactly where. I need to go get him. No, Toto. There's an easier way to smoke him out. As you say, he's behind the fence somewhere. Throwing a stone at it should tell us where. There. Now, Toto. All right, Jennings. If you've had enough, come out with your hands up. What's going on out there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, him get away. All out of fire. Jerry, no. Let's go, Toto. We won't be bothered anymore tonight. We not go after him? No, Toto, not tonight. Tomorrow will be much better. Oh, me not savvy. You're going to trail Jennings and the boy tomorrow on their hunting trip. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Early the next morning, Jennings and the boy Jerry rode off into the hills, presumably on a hunting trip. Jennings rode with some difficulty because of the flesh wound he had received during the gun battle with the Lone Ranger the evening before. After an hour of riding, he signaled a halt. Ho, 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 there. ho, ho, boy, ho. Stop here and rest for a while, kid. My shoulder's acting up. It's all right boy. with me. <coughs> Will I have time? Sure. I always give myself extra time on a big job like this, just to play safe. Better let the horses graze. Don't know when they'll have another chance. All right. Say, what ails your shoulder? You act like you stopped the bullet. No, nothing like that. I, I just missed a step in the dark last night and fell down the stairs. That's all it was. <laughs> ah, feels good to stretch out like this. Tonto had kept out of sight while following the two riders. He halted in the shelter of some trees and crept forward until he could hear what they said. Tim, I'm not trying to back out, but well, holding up a stage is pretty serious business. Sure it is, kid, for anybody else, but not for us. How's that? Well, sir, it's like a game, a game of wits. If we're smart, we win a pot of full of gold. If we're not, we lose, that's all. We won't lose, because I know how to play the game. How? Oh. I'm not one to take chances. Got every angle figured out. I hope so. You ought to be glad I'm giving you a chance at it. It's not everybody would take a green kid in on a big job like this. Of course, you won't have much to do. Just holding the horses till we need them. No work, nothing. Share just like the rest of us. You're not getting cold feet, are you, kid? Oh, no, of course not. I, I was just thinking... But what my sister would say. Oh, what can she say when you come home with a hat full of gold? That's just what's worrying me. Ah, forget it. She'll be tickled pink. I hope so. She's a mighty pretty girl, Ruth is. I'm aiming to marry her. Guess you've seen that by now, hmm? She sounded pretty down on you when I talked to her yesterday afternoon. Yeah, don't let that bother you none. She'll change her mind. Does Ruth know anything about... Not about today? <laughs> but I'll tell her in a way that'll make her see it in the right light. I don't think he can do that. You just keep thinking about what I told you before. That's important. Don't you worry about anything else. All right. Now, let's go over this job again. Stage is due at Twin Pass at noon. We get there and meet the boys in about half an hour. That'll give us an hour to get set. I'll be hiding on one side of the road to stop the stage. Mike and Harris will be on the other side, ready to grab the horses and cover the driver and the guard. You got that? Yeah. Now, there's a clump of scrub pine about 20 yards off the road. You keep the horse's air out of sight till I call for you. Then bring them out fast. Understand? I keep them out of sight till you call for them. Then I bring them out fast. Right. I won't forget. Hey, what? What was that? I didn't hear anything. Thought I heard something behind us. You sure you didn't hear anything? I don't think so. Well, I still don't like taking chances. Maybe we better back trail a bit, just to make sure. No, it's just your imagination. Now who's getting nervous? Yeah, I never get nervous, but I don't like taking chances. I guess it wasn't nothing. Mound up and we'll shove on. Steady, right, fella. Easy there. Get, get, up. get up, get up there. Tonto sat motionless until the retreating hoofbeats told him that there was no longer any danger of discovery. Then he mounted and raced for the camp where the Lone Ranger waited. Get him up, scout. Oh, scout. Oh, fella. Oh, fella. Back sooner than I expected, Tonto. Didn't Bad go news. hunting? Bad news, Kimasabi. Boy Jerry go with tall man to hold up stage. Meet others at Twin Pass. Stage hold up? What does the stage do at Twin Pass? Well, tall man say noon. I'll cinch up right away. Steady, big fella. Doesn't give us much time. <coughs> what else do you know? Well, tall man make two other fellas at pass. Hour before stage come. Tall man hide one side road, two fella on other. Stage carry gold. And what about Jerry? Well, him hold horses away from road. Wait till others rob stage. Then bring horses for getaway. But him not happy. Steady, big fella. There. Well, that's a good sign. Means we still have a chance to save him. Come on, Toto. We'll have to do some hard riding if we're to get there in time. Now, steady, big fella. One fella, an ox count. The 
The two great horses raced down the trail which Tonto pointed out. After a time, they saw Jerry coming toward them, alone. Boy, come alone. Leading his horse. Something must have gone wrong. Rain up. Oh, oh, come come on. Hello there. What? You must be part of Jennings' game. He's going on ahead. Uh, why aren't you with him? My mare went lame. Didn't want to take a chance on holding the rest of your bag. Jennings didn't like it much, did he? No, I didn't. Your mare doesn't look very lame to me. Well, she is, I tell you. What's it to you? Steady, big fella. <coughs> Jerry, I'm not one of Jennings' gang. I'm glad you're not. What? You're just trying to trap me. That's what you're doing. But it won't work. My mare stumbled and went lame, so I couldn't go on. You ask Tim, he'll tell you I'm not a quitter. Sometimes it takes more courage to quit than it does to go through with a job. Looks to me as if you have that kind of courage. Your sister will be proud of you. You leave my sister out of this. She doesn't know anything about it, and she's not going to. But what are you waiting for? You're late now. Jerry, we still have time to prevent this robbery. Do you want to? Well, yes. Trick me. All right. I made the mare stumble. Said she'd gone lame because I realized what a fool I'd been. I know now I don't want to be any part of a stage robber. I couldn't stop Jennings, but well, I can sure stop you from joining him. Get your hands up. There's no need for that, Jerry. We came to stop the robbery, not to take part in it. You can prove yourself by helping us. Uh, yeah? Your mare's like the rest of Jennings' men. There isn't much time, Jerry. While you were talking this morning... Jennings told you the names of his two henchmen. He called them, let me see, Mike and Harris. Isn't that right? Oh, well, yeah. How'd you know? Because Tonto was trailing you. He heard you and Jennings. Ah. Jennings almost find me when Scout hit rock. Oh. Now, if he has only two men in his gang, obviously they're with him now. And Tonto couldn't be part of the gang in any case. Maybe. I... All right, then. You ride behind us to the pass. We make a wrong move. Well, you have your gun. All right. I'll take a chance on that. Easy, boy. <laughs> boy, act like him, Deputy Sheriff, you know, Fabi. Still can't <laughs> figure out where you come into all this. Or what you get out of it. He's a big fellow, Steady. Jerry, your sister asked me to help you. I don't believe it. Why should Ruth go to a masked man? She didn't. I went to her. Just when your friend Jennings was trying to make himself unpleasant last night... Otto and I were riding by your house. We changed his plans a bit. But he said that... I don't understand. Don't understand what? Well, Tim told me just a little while ago that he expected to marry Ruth. I thought she'd accepted him. From what I saw last night, your sister would never marry him unless he... Jerry, that's the answer. Answer to what? Now I see it. I wondered why Jennings would want to take you with him on a stage robbery. But it's all plain now. Once you were in it, he could threaten to expose you unless your sister married him. Why, that dirty... It was only a bluff, of course, because he couldn't expose you without exposing himself. But he was sure Ruth would do anything to keep you out of jail. Kimasabi, stage, come up hill. We better travel. One silver! Get him up, Scott! Get up, Gail! His suspicions forgotten in the excitement of the moment... Jerry rode alongside the Lone Ranger and Tonto as they climbed up the hill, trying to reach the pass before the lumbering stagecoach. Up this incline. Aren't you going to warn the stage? No. You're going to see what you've escaped. We're riding around the pass. We're coming from the west, behind Jennings and his men. Here in the shadows, so they can't see us. Oh, 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 oh there, oh, 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 girl. Oh, There's Jennings behind that rock. That means there's other men are on this side of the road. Stay behind us, Jerry. Behind these rocks, there might be gunplay. Mike and Harris got the horses, just as he said they would. Why don't you stop them? Mm. Uh, get away with the express box. No, they won't. Now, do you see what you almost got yourself into? Oh, sure. Kimo Hubby. Crook aim at guard. 
you knocked the rifle right out of his hand. All right, Toto. Come on, Silver. Come on, get out. Drop those guns, Jennings. Where'd you come from? Oh, Silver. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Back up against the coach, all three of you. Take the weapons, Toto. Uh, he got them. Them. All right, guard. You can pick up your rifle now. These men are our prisoners. Get their horses, Toto. Uh, you don't mean to rob the stage? No. Well, if this don't beat all, saved from a gang of road agents by a masked man. <laughs> Mister, I am so grateful to you. You'll need help guarding these men till you hit town. Jerry, how would you like to stick with the stage and watch these men until you turn them over to the sheriff? There's nothing I'd like better. Why, you little double cross him, he's got a knife. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Drop that knife. <laughs> now, keep away from the boy, Jennings. I'll give you what you really deserve. Here, bandit horses, Kimasabi. Tie the men on their horses, then the horses to the back of the stage, Toto. Uh-huh. Here, I'll give you a hand. Right, I'll give you a hand. There may be some unpleasantness when you get back to town, Jerry. Jennings will try his best to hurt you. Oh, I know. But, oh, golly, when I think of how unpleasant it might have been... Oh, gosh, I, I wish there was some way I could thank you. Your feeling this way is the best thanks I could want. We're all ready to start, boy. Better tie your horse behind the stage and climb up. I'll take care of your horse. Right. There. All set? Right. I'll keep him covered all the way. Better get started, driver. I don't get this, but thanks for your help, stranger. Get up. Goodbye. Get Come up. and see us. Hey. Who is this masked friend of yours, Sonny? <laughs> he sure pulled us out of a bad hole back there. I don't know, but... From the way he's helped me, I... Hey, do you think he might be the Lone Ranger? The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.